What's up guys and welcome to another top 500 guide. This time is going to be on obviously Junker Queen. First things first, there's a lot of combos at Junker Queen. Like you can throw your knife like this, right click again, and then melee them like that and then shoot them. I usually like doing that if you do get a stick on somebody. You do want to melee a lot as well since you will get the bleed. Also just as a little tip, you can throw your knife very very far, stick somebody, or you can just make it go through the wall so you can pull it through the wall like that. And then you can have bleed on enemies that are through the wall. Look for the supports. Like I'm playing a DPS, you'll get a lot of damage in and a lot of kills. She's kind of a side tank, I guess you would call it. Someone that's obviously not as team oriented. It's more just like by herself. My Genji is in with me, so I'm going to get the Mercy. Should be easy. And now I'm just going to EV Ryan. Now get on to Anna. Just like that. If you have a DPS willing to work with you, like Genji or McCree, Tracer would be good too. Then just utilize them, get in there with them, and they'll help, they'll definitely help you out. So since I do have a Ryan, I'm gonna use the teleport to my advantage. I'm gonna get close, swing on the soldier. I'm gonna try to pull the soldier in. I did miss her, but that's fine. I'm just trying to get my ultimate at this point. Just trying to keep the Ryan away. My Genji's going in a little bit, so I'm gonna start pushing in. E the Mercy, I don't know what she's doing. And just get in there with my Genji the best I can. Easy kills. Like I said, when you do have a DPS like this that's willing to push in with you, you always want to push in when he's pushing in. So I saw Genji basically over here with a Ryan high right here. And you know what? I saw that. I'm going to shift in with my Genji, help him out, give him some extra HP, and then push in. Like right here, he's close again, so I'm going to shift in. I'm going to use my ultimate to go right between their entire team. And now everybody's anti kind of screwed, and I just kind of gave up. I pressed E by accident to try to get closer to that Doom. Try to get the Mercy. Mercy's priority. He's trying to get the Mercy. I'm going to try to get the Mercy. Try to E the Mercy. Killer. There we go. Got the Mercy first. Now go after the Doom. You kind of saw there how I ignored that Doom the entire time while I was fighting. Trying to go after the Mercy because Mercy's just going to keep healing him back to full HP, right? Why would you go after the Doom when you can go after the Mercy? Try to shift in here. I'm just going to get in their spawn, basically. Just force the Ana back. Try to pull the Ana towards me so I can melee her twice. There we go. Easy kill. And now go after the Doom. And yeah, 18 kills, zero deaths, and me and Genji just went in there and just owned. So they do have a Symmetra, and Symmetra is very, very easy to go against when you're playing Jugger Queen. All you have to do is just get in her face, and then you're good. You're basically good. Just make sure you kill her turrets, get up in her face. I'm gonna try to push this right here with my shift ability, try to pull Symmetra in. Here we go. I got her. She tried to escape with the TP. I still got her. Just keep putting pressure on Doom. Doom is obviously a hero that you do not want to play against Junker Queen. Junker Queen will just shred Doom when Junker Queen has her supports to help her out. I'm going to push in a little bit because we did get a pick. I'm going to wait until my team comes behind me. You always want to use your ultimate only when your team is around you because if you use it by yourself, you're kind of going to die unless you're, you put yourself in a better position when you use it. So I'm going to use it right here, get their entire team. Try to hit in with a knife, which I did. Jump over this wall, see if I can get Hanzo or Junker. Here we go. And now I'll go after the Zen that was behind me. I heard shooting. We got them all. So right there, I waited until the car was kind of halfway up this little hill right here. And then obviously I'm going to press Q, go in, anti their entire team. Really easy push for us after I do that. Watch out for the junk. Watch out for the... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I gotta talk. I was gonna say, watch out for the trap. Go after the Anna. Anna is the most important here. And now do the DPS after the Anna's dead. Here we go. And the tank. Go after the support again. And then the DPS. Remember, always go after the supports other than the DPS first. You always wanna go supports first. And then DPS because, you know, the supports are just gonna keep healing the DPS and that was a sick knife on Anna. I think I might throw another one behind the shield. No, nope, miss. I almost have my ultimate, so we should be good here. And we did get the Hanzo. He's finally doing something. Nah, jug oh, Let's see if we can get this Ramacha. I'm going to go in with the Ramacha with my ultimate since he's ulting. I got two other people around it and there we go. That was another easy game on Jugger Queen. I used my ultimate there at the last second just so I can get the Ramacha because Ramacha was ulting. That would make him anti. Jugger Queen's ultimate has a very, very big cone around it. So when you do use it, 
you can anti basically everyone around you and yeah like this this play of the game was sick i got in there got the sick knife on anna pulled her in killed her with a knife basically once you do kill somebody with a knife you do get healed a little bit they do have another fair so this game they have a pharah so get an easy kill on pharah though try to pull in life weaver got a sick knife on him and now go after the anna ignore the doom go after doom now throw a knife on him kind of mess up his slam easy kill there basically killed the old team <laughs> When you do see Doom, though, and he, even if he's in blocking form, always throw a knife at him. Then, uh, because it's going to mess him up, right? He was in blocking form. I threw a knife when he was basically about to get out of blocking form. And then it messed him up because he was trying to shift away. Like right here, he's super low already. And I'm just putting pressure on their whole team now. Especially on their Doomfist. You always want to put pressure on Doomfist when you're on Jogger Queen. It's a very easy matchup for you. Try to go after the Ana with my Sombra. A knife on the Anna that's up there. I, I did miss on the, the Anna that was up on top of the pedal for Life Weaver. And Jugger Queen's kind of counter to that as well. If someone is on the flower pedal up in the sky that Life Weaver puts his little mine, his little trap, then you can totally just stick somebody with your knife up on top of that pedal and then pull them down and right into your team or just obviously right towards you and you'll get an easy kill. I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use my ultimate here just to get the Anna. You can use it as a solo ult as well if you do want to be just petty like that. And I wanted to be petty to that Anna, so. <laughs> Got two there. I don't know how I'm alive, but I am. There, I was expecting to die, but I didn't somehow. I basically just wanted to get after the, the, the Farrah first, try to hit her with a fat E, which is my axe ability. Trying to go after her, let her bleed and die from my shots. Go back to my team, try to get the Life Weaver. That's by himself as well. Looks like he's going to bleed to death. Got him. Try to get this Doom now. You see how I'm just in their back line, just screwing their whole team over? And that's basically what you want to do when you're on Junker Queen. I'm going to try to help my, my Anna here. He's gonna use his ultimate within good. Use my ultimate now. Anti them. Try to get high ground here with the pedal. Just use my shift so I can just stay alive through that. And now I'll go after the doom that's left. So that fight was kind of weird since, you know, Echo used their ultimate ability on me. But I managed to stay alive through it and use my ultimate at the right time when I did see the mercy that was in my face. You always just want to use your ultimate when you see them all stacked up like that in your face. Use the Life Weaver's pedal to get high ground for the Pharah. I'm waiting till my shift abilities up. I'm gonna try to keep dodging these. Try to go after the soldier here. Now I'll get the Mercy. Mercy's one shot. If I can hit him one more time, got him. Use my shift. Use my E. Pull him in. Get the Doom now. Where's the Pharah? There's the Pharah. Got the fair as well. My team's not with me really. I only have like two people with me, so I'm just gonna wait until my my the robots up here, and then we can have a good team fight. I got the mercy with that pool. I'm I'm gonna push in with my ultimate now, since we did res our our junk rat. Go after the Hanzo first, since he's gonna be low. Got him. Press my shift ability as soon as I can. Pull. Doomfist in. Here we go. It's easy pulling him. Should be able to kill this life over here. Yep. Another easy game on Junker Queen. Playing against Doomfist. Always, always pick Junker Queen. Junker Queen is insane counter to Doomfist. You can't do anything to Junker Queen. There's a Widow. I'm going to try to throw my knife on Widow. I didn't land it, but I'll occasionally try to throw it at her. Use my shift to get up close to Doom. I should be able to kill Doom here. And he got slapped, so it's easy killing us. I'm gonna try to throw my knife over to Widow. I did get her, get her, just annoy her when you're on Dragger Queen. I'm gonna try to go after the Zen that's here. There we go, easy kill on Zen. Get one of the supports down. Now try to go after the other support. Since Doom is very full HP right now, so I'm not even gonna really focus him as much. I'm just gonna keep putting shots. There we go, I should be able to push in a little bit now. I'm actually gonna ult here. Ooh, he pushed me out the ult. That was actually pretty good.
Got the Suzu. Tried to go after the Widow now. Got the Widow. There we go. So I basically turned that into something good. I didn't expect the Doom to have that much, you know, confidence in punching me when I did all. I should have obviously checked that. So I'm going to leave that in this video just to show you guys know that, you know, watch out for Dooms when they do punch because you can't get punched out of your ultimate like I did. And I wasn't expecting it. I, I thought, you know, Doom wasn't going to be that good and, you know, punch me out of it. But he did, so... But that's fine. We still turned into a good situation. We still won the won the entire team fight, even though he did that. Keep peeking this corner. Wait until your shift comes back up, and then you can push in freely. I was trying to help my Genji here. I'm gonna press shift in here, and now I have the ultimate. Now I'm gonna wait until his punch is down, and then I'm gonna throw it out. Now I'm gonna throw it out. Try to get the Hanzo. Keep line of sight of your teammates so they can heal you. Try to get this Moira here. I'm gonna try to push back actually, since I'm low. Throw my E out as well. They do have Reaper too, so now I'm definitely going to push back, even though he got capped. Looks like Doom's low, but I'm going to keep going after this Moira. There we go. Finally got the Moira. Now I'll go after the Doom because I know Doom's going to be low. Missed a knife on him. Again, as long as you have your shift ability, you can use your Q like that and push in. My teammates were right behind me, so that's why I did that and I initiated the fight. Always want to try to initiate fights because since I did that and they lost the team fight, now we can just kill the doom he messed up and i basically almost have my ultimate up again i'm at 75 percent get the reaper closer i miscalculated the e press of his wraith but that's fine this guy's on my forehead Press shift for my teammates try to get in here help him i'm gonna try to get after this doom actually since he's gonna be low and i'm gonna press my q so i can get right in there Get on the Suzu. Got the Suzu. I try to go after the Doom here since Doom's gonna be low and I'm manoed. Actually, go after the Moira. Try to keep going after the Moira since Moira's gonna be low here a little bit. Got the Moira. Go after the McCree now. Now the Doom. Ooh, I'm anti. Hopefully, my teammates win that. I did kill a lot of people. All right, since I'm back, I should be able to help my team here. Got the Doom instantly. And yeah, there's another easy game versus a Doomfist. It's so easy when you face Doomfist. I swear, it's just free elo at this point. When you face them, when you're on Junker Queen, you just shred them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was my top five version guide on Junker Queen. If you did enjoy the video, you can leave a like as always. Of course, if you guys want to see more content from me, as in Overwatch 2 videos, top 500 guides, things like that, then you can always subscribe to me and click the bell to see my own notifications. Yeah, leave a comment down below if you guys need any more advice. I will be in the comments below answering questions. Any more advice you guys want from me, you can always ask it. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day and or night, and peace.